AI has made tremendous advances in the past couple of years. Many of the examples that we read about uh, in the media are related to classification problems. So for example, recognizing things on images, whatever those images are. Um, also voice has been an area of tremendous progress. Text understanding in general uh, that we experience you know, daily in our phones with our smart assistants. And then increasingly also um, complex decision making. That's what we read in the news when you have something like AlphaGo uh, you know, beating the best Go players, that those are essentially decision-making issues. Now, if you put these things together, you know, making sense out of images, making sense out of text documents, and making decisions, any industry is affected by that, including, of course, healthcare, and that's why we're here today. Yeah, I think at the moment the really biggest issue is, has to do with the credibility uh, of these algorithms. I mean, everyone can now um, create algorithms. It's a very open field. Uh, there are some open data sets, not too many, but some. The software in general is quite open these days with these open AI frameworks that anyone can download and use. So it's a very inclusive and open and therefore active field but it's a bit of a wild west situation in the sense that everybody can build these algorithms and put them in an app or, or publish a paper somewhere. And it's very hard for the community and especially the health community to say, this is sort of a good benchmark. There are no good benchmarks for these algorithms. And that's exactly what we're trying to establish. So we're trying here with this focus group to establish these benchmarks so that the relevant players, that can be industry, academia, or that can also be startups, can come and say, I have a solution to this particular problem here that you're talking about. Please, you know, what is evaluated for me? What is, where am I performing? And that gives them the credibility and clarity to the field that's currently lacking. Yeah, the first impression is very positive. Uh, everybody's on board with the overall vision. We haven't, you know, our goal a bit for the first day is also to hear, um, you know, do people think this is something that is actually necessary uh, and that it is also the right approach? And we were positively uh, impressed to hear, yes, this is a, the way to go. This is a major roadblock that we need to address. The institutions that are involved, academia, WHO and ITU, are the right players with the right mandates and with the trust to do that. And so we're quite excited about how the first day went. We'll see tomorrow how it goes. We haven't, you know, the flip side of that is that we have not heard arguments that would be sort of a major make or break issue. And that's been great.